Hi, my name is Ariel and welcome to Mermaid Musings. So this video is my first impression of your sun sign. The sun sign is the astrology placement that everybody knows. If you ask someone what sign they are and they say, I'm a Cancer, I'm a Sagittarius, they're referring to their sun sign. The reason for this is because the dates that your sun sign falls under doesn't rotate like every other planet in the zodiac. If you're a Taurus, you're always gonna be born between April 20th and May 20th. Everything else in your natal chart is constantly in motion. For example, I'm born on January 25th and I have a Virgo rising and a Gemini moon. However, someone else born on January 25th in a year other than the year I was born, most likely they're gonna have a different moon and rising sign depending on the year and the time they were born. Now, what is the sun specifically? It's ego, it's self-confidence, it's self-love, it's what you need to embody in your own life to feel your best and your brightest. That's why the dates don't change because it's stability within ourselves. The sun wants you to have an unshakable sense of self-confidence. For a lot of people, you really don't start to see them come into their sun sign until they're in their 20s because that's when most people really start to develop their self-confidence and their sense of self. So I'm now gonna give you my first impression of your sun sign, and then I'm also going to do different videos for each sun sign individually. So if you wanna see when those pop up, be sure to subscribe below. My first impression of Aries. Well, it's the first sign of the zodiac, meaning it's the child of the zodiac. What makes you feel good is behaving like a child. That can either be a good or a bad quality, depending on how you handle it. You're meant to have excitement in your life. You know how when you watch children and they get excited when experiencing something for the first time? That's you into adulthood. You're always supposed to be striving to experience something new. You're not meant to do the same things over and over and over again. That bores you and drains you of your light. When you shine your brightest is when you discover a new experience that you haven't had before. You're constantly supposed to be experiencing life for the first time. You're supposed to look at life as this place with new and exciting adventures that you're supposed to find. You're a trailblazer, so be a trailblazer. My first impression of Taurus is that as a Taurus, what makes you shine your brightest is when you create stability and comfort in the material world. I know it sounds shallow, but you're meant to make money. You're meant to create financial stability for yourself. If you don't have that, it really throws you off and makes you feel bad about yourself. That's part of why you're such a hard worker because you're trying to create that financial stability. If you're someone who works really, really hard and your financial gains aren't in line with the amount of work you do, it really takes a toll on you. You're also trying to create material comfort. So you're someone who likes like really good wine and really nice smelling candles. You're also someone who needs relaxation and rejuvenation. So it's important that you take time to unwind because that helps you to build your self-confidence and your self-worth. My first impression of Gemini is that as a Gemini, you find confidence through communication. You're a talker. You're meant to learn a bunch of information, but it's not just enough for you to learn that information. You're supposed to communicate that information back out into the world. You're supposed to be like, I just learned about this topic this morning and I'm gonna tell you all about it. You feel your best when you're living in the mental side of yourself, when you're exercising your brain. For you, constantly making yourself smarter makes you feel good about yourself. Then when you're communicating to other people what you know, that's when you're your brightest. My first impression of Cancer is that as a Cancer, what makes you feel confident is being a caregiver. Cancer is the most nurturing sign of the whole zodiac. So when you tap into that nurturing part of your personality, you shine brightly. You feel the best about yourself when you are taking care of other people. This is both physical, mental, emotional for you. As a Cancer, you have a real depth of emotion within yourself. So when you're emotionally providing comfort for someone, it makes you feel good that you have the emotional capacity to do that. Being able to sit in emotional depths, being able to tap into the most emotional part of yourself, that's when you shine your brightest. My first impression of Leo is that Leo is ruled by the sun, so you love having your sun in Leo. When you are your most self-confident, when you like yourself the most, is when you are just being yourself. You're meant to be an entertainer. You're meant to grab the spotlight and shine it on yourself. You don't run away from self-confidence and self-love. You embrace it. 
You love being in the spotlight and that's where you're meant to stay because Leo is a fixed sign. So Leo doesn't like change. So you have a very stable sense of self-confidence. It takes a lot to shake you of that. So be an entertainer. Don't be afraid to be the center of attention because that is where you shine your brightest. Virgo, my first impression of Virgo is that what gives you self-confidence is your intellectual nature. When you know that you're smart, that's when you feel good about yourself. That's why it's important for you to constantly be learning, for you to be constantly expanding your mental capacity. Virgo is a mutable sign, so it's always adapting, which means you're always meant to be growing mentally. It's important for you to learn that it's okay to change your mind when you're presented with new information. I find that Virgos who are afraid of change tend to get mentally stuck and then that tears apart your self-confidence. So embrace mental change. Don't be afraid to change your thoughts and your opinions because when you're always learning, that's gonna happen to you. And you shine your best when you are learning on an everyday basis. My first impression of Libra is that what gives you self-confidence is your relationship to other people. Yes, that is as dangerous as it sounds. I think where Libras get stuck is you try to take your self-confidence from how other people make you feel instead of taking your self-confidence from how you personally choose to behave in the relationship. You can't control other people's actions. You can only control your own actions. So don't let your self-confidence be destroyed by other people. Build up your self-confidence in how you react to other people, not in how they react to you. You shine your brightest in your relationships with other people when you aren't dependent or controlled by them. My first impression of Scorpio is that you are your best when you're your most emotional. This is the deepest feeling sign of the whole zodiac. So when you take that and you put it on the planet of self-confidence, that means you develop your self-confidence by exploring the deepest emotions within yourself. A Scorpio that is detached from their emotions is frankly going to hate themselves with an intense passion because Scorpio doesn't know how to do anything halfway. So be brave enough to embrace your emotions. You often have, frankly, pretty dark emotions. When you aren't afraid of that, when you explore that in darkness within yourself, when you allow yourself to feel your emotions completely, even though sometimes it can be uncomfortable, that's actually where you shine your brightest. My first impression of Sagittarius is that you feel your most confident when you feel your most free. You're not meant to be tied down to anything. When you're tied down, that's when you start to feel bad about yourself. Sagittarius, it's a very philosophical sign. So when you put that on your sun, that means you're meant to be a very philosophical person and develop your life philosophies based on lived experiences. You're someone who's meant to learn less by just like sitting there and reading, which I'm not knocking that, you probably enjoy that as well. But where you're really going to develop your self-confidence is by going out into the world and learning through taking action. You shine your brightest when you are exploring the world around you. My first impression of Capricorn is that you are your most self-confident when you are working to achieve a goal. Capricorn is always meant to be climbing some mountain. So that's what makes you feel good about yourself when you are facing an obstacle and you do not stop until you overcome it. Capricorns who are quitters, frankly, are um, not very self-confident people. But Capricorns who have a goal and they don't stop until they achieve their goal, people who don't quit and don't let anything get in their way, those Capricorns have actually a really great sense of self-confidence. Everything with Capricorn is harder, right? So even though it might take you longer to develop that self-confidence, you actually can wind up with a better sense of self-confidence than basically any other sign. You shine your brightest when you are working to achieve a goal, usually more than when you have actually achieved it. That's why it's important for you to set big goals for yourself so that once you've climbed that mountain, you can immediately begin climbing another one. My first impression of Aquarius is that you shine your brightest when you are a humanitarian. Aquarius is the humanitarian of the Zodiac. So when that's combined with your sun, that's what you have to do in order to feel good about yourself. You need to help people, not in a cancer way where you get bogged down by emotions, but in a logical way. That's why you're so good at helping people in group settings. You're meant to take action to do what's best for everybody instead of focusing on one individual person. You're meant to help people in the mental realm rather than the emotional realm. 
This is also the sign of social group. So you're meant to be a sociable person. You feel your best when you're actively engaging with other people. I think because Aquarius is so misunderstood, you often don't do this and this actually makes you feel worse about yourself. Even if you have a harder time relating to people, you're still meant to actively engage with them. The more you hang out with people, the better they will understand you and you will understand them. You shine your brightest when you are helping humanity as a whole, but the only way you're gonna be able to do that is if you take those steps to actively engage with humanity. My first impression of Pisces is that you feel your most self-confident when you are actively engaging with your constantly changing emotions. You're not meant to feel a certain way for a long period of time. Those emotions are meant to dissolve and turn into something else entirely. You feel your best when you allow yourself to be adaptable. You develop self-confidence by allowing yourself to change and grow as a person. For you, being stagnant will kill you. So embrace not knowing who you're gonna be from one day to another. You shine your brightest when you are constantly uncovering parts of yourself that you had no idea was even there before. So that's it, that is all 12 signs. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below for more astrology content, including that individualized video on your sign. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.